Fiesta! It's that, that time again. It's that time of the year. I'm gonna hit new game and get this started while I get my screen situated. Hey, newbie, what did you do this year for your challenges, quote unquote? Um, I was. Yeah, I guess I could start explaining that while I fast forward through this opening sequence that takes way too fucking long. Um, so. Uh, seeing how it was last year, I had a mostly melee team with one mage in it. I decided that this year, in order to uh, change, stuff, change stuff up, I would do what is known as a 750 run. I think the game's too loud. I did an audio check, it should be fine. Um, You'll be fine. So, 750 is a run that is defined at... Uh, bleh. So it's a run where you can only get jobs that can equip and break rods, and hence 750, because Mostly. that is that is how much a the base elemental rods cost. Except for the earth crystal, the earth crystal is a little weird because I don't think there's any rod classes in there. Nope. Same thing with fire. Uh, 750 really works a bit better when you do chaos, but <laughs> then you can... Chaos is something I'm not a super fan of, because you can end I up... I love it. You can end up getting, you like, being just... being stuck with, a uh, Freelancer for a bit. No, it's... So See, actually... you, gotta, you don't have to think of it as being stuck. You think of it as being provided an opportunity to enjoy the joys joys, let's try that again enjoy the experience of being a freelancer for longer than normal in some cases about a third of the game <laughs> doesn't do, I can't put Sparta truly <laughs> this is Damn the worst it. kind of day just Sparta then Spart Spart yeah, okay. Sparta. <laughs> you having fun over there? <laughs> In jokes! Mm, Sparta. <laughs> Game is a bit loud. Uh, chat is saying. Uh, let me see how easily I can change that with this emulator. I'm sure it'll go really well. Uh, I'm gonna save a state, just in case. Um, because this emulator is a little, uh, how you say, wonky. You actually have to do it in this manual. You can't fucking do it outside. Anywho. Alright, and then we load state. There we go. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds a lot better for me, too, actually. Um, this emulator has, it's in beta. It's a beta emulator. Sparta. <laughs> Sparta. Uh, I couldn't get the Z to fit. But anyway, know. Meteor. Meteor, what's with this Meteor? We're going to be fast forwarding because we showed off a lot of the story last year. Uh, the emulator is uh, Vid uh, Visual Boy Advance M. If you go into your audio tool in the lower right, it actually doesn't have a volume bar. It just has this very large Game Boy Advance just taking up your bar. It's really weird. Anywho, we find Galoof, we save Lena, and they go, uh, we got a job to do. And decide to leave us. And then Bars is just like neat and no, excuse me, Sparts. Sparta. I like Sparts more. We can't go back now. I know. Just remembering last year where because I had thief so much, I had to use like I couldn't run. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just couldn't control running. 
But anyway, this year. Well, they're fast. All mages, all the time. <laughs> and whatever the other two crystals decide to give me. I mean, the only thing about... See, the thing about a 750 run is you're pretty much guaranteed to have a good team no matter what. Yeah. So it's... You get to show off some cool stuff. It's really cool stuff. I should pay attention and not get destroyed by goblins. That might be a good idea, yes. Yeah, he'll be fine. Well, we get to listen to probably one of the weakest tracks in the entire game. Battle on the bridges until later. I said wow. weakest. The trolling begins anew. <laughs> I'm sure I made someone angry with that. More than someone, depending on the amount of people we have watching. Listening? Watching? Whomever. So Len and Gloof got taken out by the road slot. Ro road slide? Ro road slide. Yeah, I like that more. <laughs> the rock slide? Rock slide, there we go. There we go. I was combining road side and rock slide into one thing. Um, She's roadside, man. Uh huh. Luckily, Bart's happened to be passing through again and saved them. So is Bart's superpower dumb luck? Yes. Yeah. Because he's pretty much the epitome of dumb. And, and so is Lena? They all have their own superpowers of dumb. <laughs> Team dumb, dumb, and brain damage. Uh, something like that. As chat points out, you can be incredibly unlucky in a 750 run and get White Mage, Red Mage, and Geomancer. What are you talking about? That's a great team. Is it? Yes. I guess White Mage becomes very good later on. You have Rod Breaking with the Red Mage. You've got uh, all of the support you'll need with the White Mage, and Geomancer will get you through World 2. Sure, it's not going to be as game-breaking as, like, I don't know, a Blue Mage and a Summoner, but you'll get the job done. I forgot we're early game, so I actually have to, like, plan out who's attacking who. Yeah, probably a good idea. That's spring. So who fights with a bell, anyway? Geomancers do. I mean, you know, not in fantasy game. Oh, um, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. I, I guess, yeah. Hey, wait, aren't there some uh, bell users in uh, Dynasty Warriors, maybe? Uh, <laughs> oh, you put them to the task. Jeez. Are there? I feel like there is. I feel like if you looked hard enough, there is. But I can't think of it off the top of my head. I mean, we're talking about a, a series here where somebody fights with a boat. I see no problem with it. I may be thinking of something different, but I, I, met, I remember some person lugging around a gigantic cylindrical object and hitting people with it. There's a guy that has a mace. Go yeah, that's, on. That's it. Does it like, look like a bell? I, it has actually been a number of years since I've played one of like the main Dynasty Warriors game games. Actually, like a long while. I think before I'm, I was in the current job I'm in right now. No, it came out right when I started this job. That's right. 
I remember distinctly because I remember checking Twitter and various other resources because the game had a horrible frame rate bug. How bad? Um, literally unplayable on some levels. Ouch. Yeah. Dynasty Warriors always kind of has, you know, questionable frame rate at times because they just worry about fitting as many guys on screen as they can. But like this was crippling constantly. Ah. They tried to make it look really nice and not really optimized. A boat. Who could possibly be on a boat? The wind, it's dying. The wind is dead. I think they're being dragged by a sea serpent or something. Nonsense. That's crazy talk. Oh, okay. Have this person removed from the premises. They are talking nonsense. Oh, I'm looking up bell as a weapon, and evidently the Nazis tried to make a time machine using a bell. <laughs> of course they did. Okay, it? this is not one of those correlation equals causation things. It does not mean all geomancers are Nazis, so I don't want to start seeing that chat pop up. <laughs> geomancers aren't time mages. Yeah, but they could... It was only... The subsetting in the time magic. Yeah, only if you equip use bell on a time mage. That's it. There we go. Oh, okay, Two, newbie, you better be careful here, because you actually have a shot of having time mage and geomancer in your party. <laughs> <laughs> I it's think... not a small one. <laughs> yeah, it's not. I'm going to take a risk in here and say that this stream is very anti-Nazi. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, anyway, we're stealing the boat. Oh, wait, we're not stealing the boat. Also, one of this princess. What Shocker. the? In a way that surprises no one. This guy showed up. This pirate king. No, don't you have to be a certain age to be a king? Pirate print? They're, they're like 20. Ish? Question mark? Okay, the last time I thought of characters are like the mid 20s or whatever was when I thought, oh yeah, Cecil in uh, Final Fantasy 4, he's like mid 20s. No, he's like 18. What? Everybody in 4 is like way younger than they appear. Except for Tella. Who's, who's like decades 60. younger. <laughs> like Pollum and Porum are like five or something, right? Yes. Yeah. Like stupid. I always thought they were ten or twelve, and it's like, nope, five. I think the best example of that is Edge, who he actually breaks the mold because you look at him and think, oh, he's like fifteen or sixteen. Nope, twenty-six. <laughs> Wait, Edge is 26? Yes, he's older than the rest of the main cast. What the actual fuck? Yeah. The, the ages in 4 make no sense. <laughs> also, Edge's real name is Edward, which is really confusing because there's another character in the game whose name is Edward. Yeah, that's a good question. How old is Sid? Sid? Sid's like 40-something. Yeah, that's reasonable. He's a dad. I mean, his daughter's grown. Yeah, as soon as you are a dad... You are yeah, no you longer. You gained 15 years. Bam. Yep. <laughs> Cecil in the after years goes from like 25 when. Ce oh, no, no, no. 19 when Theodore was born. Bam. 34. There you go. By the way, spoilers Cecil has a kid in a really bad game. I always. kind of have like this subtle interest to play after years and then remember I never finished four in the first place don't do it it's a trick uh, also sea serpents what the yeah you'll be fine drive us to the place hell no I got this we need to go wreck our ship. The only reason you actually want to say no is if you want to visit the town first. You don't need... I know, I'm not going to. I'm just saying, like, 
that's why you would. Yeah, you can go buy some gear if you need it, but that's that's quitter talk right there. We don't need no gear. That's also assuming what class you're going to get. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess newbie could cheat because he might know what his class is, but details. I have no clue. Is it this guy that you talked to? Or is it this one? Yeah, there you go. There's the five potions. Which are actually incredibly important. Yeah, they're actually really useful. <laughs> oh, this place has a lot of side items that I actually want to get because one of them is a broadsword. You ever wonder what Galoof was thinking going out on this quest and not bringing a weapon? You know what? He's an old man. They forget things. He forgot his weapon at home. Oh, look. There's a... Uh... Actually, I'm pretty sure he left it, it in a boat. There's last year's party. Somewhere in a moat. He left it his, his awesome sword. Oh, yeah. That's right. Hello, by the way. Hello. Welcome to Fiesar. Fiesar. Right, I'm, I'm back. I brought pizza. Who wants it? Oh, oh, I just have pizza. Me. Actually, I'm old. It's full. me. There's a hat. So, Argona, how goes your fake fiesta? Uh, it's going. I mean, I got interrupted by Kirby, but I'll definitely get back to her any second sometime soon. Ha. Huh. Kirby's really good! I got my Kirby last night. How'd that go? Uh, wait, not last night. Yesterday. <laughs> kind of in the mail. Um, it's pretty good! Actually, yeah. A good Kirby. Yep. Majority of Kirby games are decent. I can't actually think of a bad one. I mean, there are bad ones, but they're just spin-offs, so who cares? Uh, anywho, we have all of our equipment. Yeah, you ready to throw down? Give the old man a knife. Sounds like a plan. Alright. Shalom, Garuda. Yeah, that's gonna end well. Oh wait, ring, Wing Raptor, that's right. It's not Garuda. Wrong game. <laughs> Is Garuda in this? Am I thinking of three? Have I been playing too much Record Keeper? <laughs> uh, the answer to that is always yes. But, um... If he's in it, it's in a way that it's like a um, random enemy is named Garuda. Alright. Now there's a Garula. Yeah. It's also in 15. They brought Garulas back. In 15? Yep. Yeah. Uh, he did not even go into protection form. Well, what level are you? Four. Yeah, sounds about right. Now you can unlock your wind job. Oh boy, what's your wind job gonna be, newbie? Ah, uh, come on, white mage. Didn't you spoil this for him earlier? Yes, I did. Way to ruin the moment. Okay, I just... Just wanted to see if you remember that. I do. Thanks, comma. No, everyone knows. You're just trolling like crazy today, aren't you? you got it. Did you have like a stored up amount that you had to get out of the way? Yeah, I haven't talked to you that much this week. I know. It's not like we haven't been playing any sort of game together. Are you role playing right now? Is that what's happening? No. Pure me. Okay. King Dad. Anywho, yep, crystal's broken. Whoops. 
Ooh, That's a I shame. I have no idea what his job actually is, so it'll be a surprise for me at least. Also, King Dad gets teleported away. Goodbye, King Dad. Yeah, it's fine. What? The crystal? Knight, monk, blue mage, thief, black mage, what? It's blue mage! Huzzah! <laughs> Way to spoil it, newbie. I mean, I knew. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> um... Crum, do me a favor. Yes. Isn't there like a sequential order you can get blue mage thing? Yeah. Um. Really, you had so many days that you knew about this, you didn't look it up. You can run around the temple here and get punched by a goblin. And uh, and arrow yeah. wins. Arrow. And you can get arrow, not arrow. <laughs> you can get that early. Wow. Yeah, I think I think uh, yeah. If you get punched by a goblin, you get white wind or something. Yeah, it'd be really cool. And then if you go to the cave, you can get Vampire. That is Sweet. the actual one you want to get. They're all good. Arrow is pretty useful early on. Yeah, but Vampire is broken throughout the entire game. Yes, it is. I do like how all of the Blue Mage outfits are basically superheroes. I mean, why not? Blue Mages are superheroes. Well, yeah, it's just... It's weird that that is the aesthetic for this one. Well, like, Beastmaster is dressed up as sheep. I see no problem here. Wasn't Beastmaster actually a superhero? Yes. It's the white snakes that have arrow, right? That was the moldy winds. I think you're right, actually. Yeah. Oh no, I killed the goblin. Oops. All right. And now we play the waiting game. There it is. Goodbye. <laughs> he has to be alive to learn it, right? I believe so. Yeah. Rip a phoenix down. Well, do you only have one person as a... I think any of the blue mages have to be alive for you to learn it. It's only well, Strago has to still be alive. Oh well. What shame. Hey look, Goblin Shades. Punch. Alive and not under the blind effect, which is the only thing that the blind effect does in the original Final Fantasy VI. Whoop, I got both the blue magics from here already. There you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Congratulations. What are you going to do with them? Keep them forever. <laughs> Never use them. Just hoard them. Take the knowledge to my grave. <laughs> no one else will know the dreaded goblin punch, which in some realms is a kick to the groin. Grum, are you getting me that list? I'm getting the list, man. Come. Grum, the list. Wrong. Yeah, yeah. I mean, most of the magic you need to learn is actually just basically on the way. The only ones I can think of that you really need to work towards for are like White Wind and White Wind. There are some that you have to do like weird shit for. That's what I'm Look, thinking of. And now I see level spells. Yeah, well, there are some that you need control for to get early confusion. I don't think you need control for any of them. You can get them with the confused knife thing. Uh, to get them early, you need control. Eh, fair enough. Alright, I found it by typing into Google, uh, Blue Magic in sequential order. Alright, cool. Just put it in the Discord. Now we play the waiting. Oh, there it is. <laughs> waiting, and we're done. We'll be able to show that off. Why that's completely dumb in uh the canal. <laughs> yes. Or maybe right now. 
Oh, right. Blue is listed weirdly. How is it listed weirdly? Because, like, everything actually has a slot in the blue magic list. I guess it does in other magic lists too, but you just get it in order. If you did Berserker Risk with 750, can you still get a Berserker? I don't know if you can do Berserker Risk with 750, but if you did, I'm sure you could. Because that would be silly if not to. Also, ah, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> I'm just thinking about stuff down the game already. Who knows what the rest of your party's going to be comprised of? Mages. Right. Time to go in beginner house and get some free items. It's in the box. It's a monster. Hello, goblin. Parachutes. Uh, I should get broadswords for everybody, right? It's a weapon. I mean, a dagger is just as good. Yeah, I guess I should get one for the knife. Or you could just rely on not using physical attacks anymore. Because <sighs> you've got arrow. It requires the use of menu. I, that's actually very fair. You know what? You're right. I'm sorry. I should have thought of that. Can't you just get menu to stay on uh, a certain spell? Shush. I mean, you do have blue mages. Everyone should be in the back line and using Goblin Punch at this point. Goblin Punch does actually go off your attack stat, right? I believe so. It's just a... Uh... Well, pretty much what Goblin Punch is, it's just um, a long-range attack that is just like your regular attack, except if your uh, level is the same as your enemy, then it does times 8 damage. Right. Which is hysterical. Oh, wait, did they sell shields here? Like leather shields. Sir, yeah, do please. Goblins, do goblins throw their fist at people? It's best not to worry about that kind of thing. Since I mean, I... if it was like leper punch, then I could see that, but no. That is horrifying. Meh. Hmm. Unless I get time, you know, I guess if I... Hmm. Thinking about how much I might actually have to spend on, uh... Spells. It's only if I get time mage. What do you mean? Because I already passed the two that require you to buy spells. No, you didn't. Oh, Red Mage, right. Yes, and Summoner. Summoner is like, doesn't even count. It's hey, like, it's the first thing. Sylph is mage. incredibly useful. <laughs> Sylph is bullshit. I have Vampire. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> Sylph saves your bacon in a lot of situations where it really shouldn't. So, we've come to, uh, Tool. This is Tool, right? Tool. It's to, a great uh, name for a town. To find a friend of Lena in order to get through the canal, and Bart's is having a flashback about his dad talking about the crystals. Bart's. It's not his name, it's Sparta. It's good Sparta. Sparta. So, so, is this Tool or Tule? Maybe it's too late. French. It doesn't have the accent, but it could be. I know. Maybe it's just tall. Bienvenue à Toulé. Well, 
Old man Zok. Zok? Zonk. There we go. I somehow feel like by the end of this game, the names are just going to be a bunch of gibberish for everyone involved in this. The names are secondary to everything. They are. Names are meaningless. Toss aside the constructs of society. Uh, Jack Cole is German. If it were French, it would be Jashol. See, you learn new things every day. And then Ferris ditches their crew. I mean, why wouldn't she? I don't want to hang out with these schmucks at any time that I can. Wait, she? Newbie, you've ruined it! <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> I, I didn't. I mean, I mean, we didn't even go to the pirate's uh, hotel room and watch <laughs> the pirate sleeping. We have no idea whether or not this is a male or a female. Oh, you are just the worst. <laughs> now we're having a moment about the wind and the crystals. Someone pointed out an interesting note in that uh, you visit the crystals in this game in the reverse order of FF1. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Very nice touch. And don't you visit the crystals in the same order in uh, FF9? Oh. I don't remember that. You that... almost visit them in the same order they did in Avatar The Last Airbender. <laughs> so, in FF9, you do those things at like the same time? trying to remember the order at which they say we're going to all these different places. It might be correct, the way you're saying it, Newbie, but I've, it's been a while, man. Well, anywho, I'm gonna split the video. Already? Yeah, it's been a half hour. Jeez. Bye, everyone. <laughs>